I'm Sunny from Creatures, and uh, I'm gonna bring you some latest uh, trendy things in China right now. So China's luxury liquor brand Guizhou Mao Tai has partnered with Chinese version of Starbucks, Locking Coffee. Together they have launched a product called Mao Tai Coffee, and it has been very, very popular in China right now. So today I'm going to check this out. After this one, I also checked several stores, but the only thing left is the paper bag that used to contain the multi coffee. I will probably do it a few days later. One of the main characters of this partnership, Guizhou Mao Tai, is famous for its taste and often used as banquet liquor. It has earned its name as the Chinese national wine. Apart from drinking and gifting, Mao Tai has even transformed into an investment too so that people buy them to preserve and increase their value. In the first half of 2023, the company achieved a revenue of 69.5 billion and net profit of 35.9 billion, a year-on-year -year increase of 20.7% from the same period last year. Currently, Mao Tai's main target customers are middle or upper class people in China. With ambition of continued growth, Mao Tai is also targeting younger customers in its partnership with Lockin Coffee. And why did Mao Tai choose Lockin this time? After the listing in 2020, Lockin almost collapsed. After the remediation and reform, both internal and external, Today's lock-in can even compete with Starbucks in China with its 10,836 stores, which is 4,000 more than that of Starbucks. The so aggressive expansion is a strategic market move for lock-in coffee. Unlike Starbucks, whose stores are all company-owned, lock-in coffee take a different approach. Their stores include both self-operated stores and franchises, Besides, Login Coffee also operates a grab-and-go model where customers can order from the app and pick up their orders at the store. This girl is taking its deliveries. It's very fast and effective, and you don't need a really large space just like Starbucks. This model helps them save a great amount of capital for operating costs and successfully increase the density of their brand. With a lower price compared to Starbucks, Locking Coffee is delicious and affordable for most people, taking a mass market appeal strategy. Apart from the numbers of the stores, the revenue of Locking Coffee is also growing rapidly. Locking's total net income in the first half of 2023 was $10.6 billion, a year-on-year -year increase of 86%. Joint innovation between brands can better stimulate the consumption market. The cooperation between Maotai and Login has been a huge success so far. On the first day of its coffee launch, Maotai Coffee sold over 5 million cups, with sales exceeding 100 million. Hmm, this one actually beyond my expectation. Uh, because personally, I don't like those Baijiu, which a really strong alcohol taste, but this one tastes like a mix of chocolate, latte, alcohol, and milk. It's only 70 yuan, so I think it's a good choice for young people. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.